guys how's it going i thought i'd do a little tutorial on just kind of like a poor man's handy kit for the uh fixing laptops or computers or whatever you gotta fix you know in the pc world and i'll show you what i have to bring along right now now usually when i'm fixing things i don't get too fancy uh, at the, for the most part you know uh, like one screwdriver like one of these and a flathead is gonna get you by uh <clears throat> you know deep jobs you might need some pliers always gonna need a good flashlight this one I picked up for like two bucks it's really good for getting into small tiny places like if I'm gonna rip off the motherboard of that laptop or something rip it apart it's just good to find screws and stuff with uh, if you want to go bigger get something like this a nice work lamp that you know recharges on actual batteries not like double A's uh, this lasts about six hours and I love this light it's uh, served me well in the past uh, what else we got here you know, wire cutters Another smaller screwdriver, getting into the smaller places for uh, laptops, flathead, of course, and a uh, good old uh, Swiss Army knife. These are actually really handy just because you can use this kind of stuff. Um, I wouldn't necessarily use this blade, but for prying or keyboards and things, you can kind of get around. Uh, yet again, don't use this blade, use uh, another softer one, or like a guitar pick or something. And you can actually, uh, there's tons of stuff on a Swiss Army knife. They're just, you know, another handy thing. Uh, wire strippers, mm, I honestly, I don't think I've ever used these other than just cutting wires before. Backup, backup is vital. If you're doing any computer work, uh, make sure you have tons of backup. So I actually have what's one terabyte drive right there. Another one terabyte drive I have for backup. Yes, I also have adapters. This one is VGA to DVI. It's a good adapter. And then we need here we've got some more adapters uh, and some extra RAM too. You never know the different kind of RAM you're going to use. Like I, I don't even know if that's like old school RAM. This is a DDR2, but you know decent enough to you know do some checking. And while we're talking about RAM, MemTest. You know go Google this, download it, burn it to a CD. You can seriously put MemTest in a computer that is doesn't even function and uh, put it in it'll boot up like Windows and then you can run MemTest on it right there and it'll tell you if the memory is a problem. If the memory is not a problem, it's probably the hard drive. If it's not the hard drive, then you're looking at CPU motherboard problems. Okay, so I've got some like USB cables here. Uh, one's for a phone and then one's for a camera. So one's like micro, one's mini. And you know, these are just handy for, you know, if people have backup they have to do off the cameras or any of that kind of thing and their computer is broken but they want their pictures or they want uh, puppy linux this thing kind of runs the same way as memtest as the same way as if the computer is completely toast i can throw this disk into the drive it'll run completely off this disk and off the memory on the computer no hard drive needed whatsoever you can run linux on there and then once you get into linux you can start diagnosing your problems and fixing them Little plastic things. Oh, screws. Screws are a big one. I always keep screws because uh, you, you just never know. I have those are for PC, and then these ones are for laptops. And these are actually numbered for laptops. Oh, some heat shrink for wiring. So all these screws are labeled and numbered as they go for the lengths. Uh, that's kind of important because you don't want to put a screw like that in your, your laptop. That's, uh, that's not going to work. And because I'm super famous, you know, I guess I stuffed some business cards in the bottom. So yeah, go uh, go check out uh, Paradox Designs. Yeah, he's a cool guy. And then I usually bring like my little netbook, um, just to have like a, a spare computer to use uh, that I know that runs. And of course, then I also have a spare hard drive. I think this one is actually it's a SATA drive. This would work perfect for uh, most new computers just make sure it runs fine and then you can actually just swap this in and out and to you know do some troubleshooting to make sure the drive is in there and it works and then you can swap it around and if this one works then you know that's your problem uh what else we got here sometimes I like to bring along like just a small game or something just to run on the computer before you actually give it back just to you know give it a little bit of a a run through so you know that it can if it can run a decent game for that laptop or that computer then you know it's going to stay stable and then you've also got to go through things like a spy bot and install those just to make sure everything's okay avg2 like do a good antivirus scan 
guys have any suggestions of what else I can put in here, let me know because, you know, literally, I just said I only use, you know, the four screwdrivers and the freaking Swiss Army knife, and that gets me pretty much through any computer you can throw at me. Stay tuned, and uh, thanks for watching. Bye.